Thank you for joining us on this, our third Sunday of Advent, as we gather for this devotional, um, as we continue on in this series in Grasping Scripture. Today we're going to focus on the shepherds. We've looked at prophecy in the first week and how that prophecy speaks of the hope that is coming. We've looked in the second week at the city of Bethlehem, the town of Bethlehem, about how it was off the beaten path. It was a peaceful place, but it was an out-of-the-way place. And yet, it's such a significant place because God came into it, literally in the flesh. Now for us, that speaks of peace with God. It speaks of how when our lives are seemingly insignificant or we are in dark places, God can still come. God can still change everything because there is peace with him. As we look at the shepherds, they were busy. They were tending their flocks in the fields. They had a job to do, and that job wasn't one they could punch a time clock and walk away from. Those sheep needed cared for. And it was into their busyness that God entered. So this week, let's focus on the shepherds, about the joy that they experienced in encountering the Christ and this message of redemption. And let's find a place in our hearts where we can turn away from the busyness to focus on the God who encounters us there, to worship Christ, and to be changed by it. Join with me as we consider the shepherds and as we read these passages. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 12, and then verse 15. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But an angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. As we focus our attention on the shepherds in this account of the birth of the Christ, we're reminded that God comes to busy people, busy like the shepherds were, tending their flocks at night. Like them, you and I may find ourselves to be busy. Oh, we may be just living our lives, or maybe we've got a lot going on and, and we find that that overwhelms us. And we may just feel like we are too busy to take time and pay attention to the Lord, to seek Him. This week, as we focus on the shepherds, my hope is that that will help us to be even more aware that God comes to us where we are. He comes to us when we are. He comes to us even as busy as we are. And he still calls us to respond to him. These shepherds, they had their work. They didn't want to leave their flocks unattended at night. There are predators about. It was their job to protect, to guide, to shepherd. 
And yet they heard this message that changed everything. And they went and they found the Savior. And as we keep reading the story, we find that even after encountering the Christ child, they go back to what they were. They go back to being shepherds, but they go back different than they were. They go back praising the Lord for what he has done. I pray that we have that kind of encounter this Christmas, where God breaks into our busyness, where God interrupts all that stuff that holds our attention and keeps us distracted, and we encounter him in a very true sense. And that from that encounter forward, we carry within us a joy a vibrancy, a celebration of who the Christ is and of what he means in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, we pray that you will interrupt us, that you will break into the routines of our lives and that you will use us, that you will use us in a meaningful way to live out your will, that we would find our place, our purpose, our significance in your will. Instead of finding our insignificance in our busyness. Father, we thank you that you don't just leave us alone to wander through this life, but that you are reaching out for us. That you encounter us where we are, in the midst of what we are doing, so that we can embark on this wonderful journey of a relationship with you. We thank you and we ask that you would help us to break from our busyness this holiday season and know you. As you said to the prophet so long ago, be still and know that I am God. Help us to be still that we may know that you are God. Amen.